Why? You gonna mess up one day. What makes you think I'm doing anything? YouTube, this is Josh. We're here at American AF Dumpster Rentals, and so Alexa, she said, if you didn't hear that, today's a good day, right? right. It's gonna be a good day. Today's Friday, and it's a Friday before Memorial Day, right? So it's a three-day weekend. Got a lot of homeowners, probably a lot of like weekend warriors that probably want some dumpsters. Hopefully, uh, we started out the day this morning. It's not even eight o'clock yet, but we started out this morning with what two two deliveries. Two deliveries, one swap out, two pickups. That was two swap outs. Okay, two deliveries, one swap out, two pickups. So that's, what's that, four touches basically? Five touches. And then really right before we got to the yard here, you just booked what? Another one. Uh, a 20-yard in Dallas, right? Yeah. So for those of you guys that don't know, and I don't think I've even explained it on the channel, Alexis is out for the summer from college her junior year, right? Mm -hmm. You're basically halfway through junior year? Yeah. So halfway through junior year, and again, for those of you guys that don't know this, this one and my other daughter actually graduated high school after only two years. So she started high, uh, college at 16, right? And you are now 19, and you're going to graduate next winter, December. December. By the end of next year, she will graduate and be 20 years old and have graduated a four-year college, which is freaking awesome and phenomenal. Uh, and my other daughter, like I said, she finished high school too, and now she's kind of figuring out what to do with the rest of her life right now. So, so I have hired her during the summer. Now, when I had Heaven on Wheels in my limo company, she worked for me as well, like answering and booking uh, limousines. And she was, she's really good at booking and talking to customers. You know, there's definitely something to be said about a girl or a female answering the phone. Do you think? I think so. Uh, uh, I think sometimes, especially with in our industry, what you've learned, and, and we did not script this. We, I did not tell her I was going to do this. But from answering and booking calls in a limo company and now answering and booking calls for the dumpster business, what is the magic question that you ask once you've given the customer all the information to hopefully uh, encourage them to go ahead and book? Are you ready to book? That's it. It's that simple. Are you ready to book? Sometimes we don't even ask for the sale. And uh, I think she does a good job of it. He literally just did it on his last phone call. And I don't give her praise very much. Sometimes it's, I'm, I'm a hard one to give praise, praise, but she'll literally ask at the end of a phone call or at the, when, you know, right when they're in, on the fence, you know, there's that awkward silence or whatever. And it's like, quit playing around. Are you ready to book or not? Let's get, let's shit or get off the pot at the end of the day, right? Uh, so if you guys aren't ad, asking that magic question at the end of any kind of or a phone call, you're probably losing out on some customers. But we just did a walk around on the truck or my pre-inspection. I'm gonna do it one more time before we get out, and then we're gonna head out. So we've got a swap out to do right away this morning. Actually, we're gonna dump this full 20 and then bring it back here probably, swap out the 25 yard, 220s for now. And we will see, it's like just now hitting eight o'clock and we will see what we end up with uh, at the end of the day. So let's get her ass to work. Anything you gotta say? No. Nope. Questions, comments, concerns? I'm good. She's, uh, like I said, she's answering my phones. She's handling some of my social media and uh is it a good part-time job full-time in the summertime don't say it just because i'm your dad so i i bring her along so she can learn all the ins and outs she might not have to be with me every single day this summer i don't think she wants that nor neither do i probably but uh but you got to learn the business at the end of the day you got to really learn what you're selling otherwise there's no you know you're not really going to know what you're talking about when you're talking to a customer so uh, unless you get the feel for it you're not really going to really understand sometimes so i like bringing people along i like bringing her along and learning the business inside and out and hopefully she'll understand it more when it comes time to sell so enough talk let's get her ass to work We just 
right in at the uh, at the landfill. Going to go dump 0.89 tons, not even a full ton. So easy money, right? monthly subscription here they charge a hundred dollars a month for uh, one car wash a day or one truck wash a day up to so basically like any other subscription car wash 100 bucks a month for a truck wash for unlimited washes is not bad uh, especially when you can pay up to like 65 70 bucks at most places so an incident was reported on i-30 you are on the fastest route so you pull in here and they scan my uh, my windshield here. So they pressure wash first, pre-soap, and then you go through the tunnel. even though it's a brand new Mac, these water jets hit these door jams on both sides at the perfect angle. I don't have an issue when it rains. I don't ever have an issue otherwise. But this truck wash, it hits this door jam at the perfect angle where it will soak you. Sorry, because it doesn't even start till here. Pressure. 
I don't trust you. <laughs> Look at the steering wheel is nice and wet. I got nice and wet. I stopped it over here. Just the floor. It's alright. Water ain't never hurt nobody. Let's go. All right, so we just delivered this 20 yard in Irving. Uh, usually kind of out of our way. I usually don't go to Irving very much, but uh, customer calls and is willing to pay a little bit extra travel. No problem with that. So head back to the yard now, pick up a 25, do a swap out at a, uh, a contract that we have in Dallas, South Dallas. So it's actually kind of nice and close to the yard. And then, uh, and then what? 15 yard delivery and another 20 yard delivery and a 20 yard pickup, and a 20 yard pickup. one of the 20 yards that was picked uh, scheduled for pickup uh rescheduled again how many times is he rescheduled a lot it's probably rescheduled like five or six times at least uh but it's okay i think he's got like i think i saw it was like 300 dollars, right in no, in extra days paid like 700 dollars so. yeah so he's got about 300 in extra days so whatever i'll take it but uh but yeah, head into the yard.
pulled over. I drank. No, that was yesterday. Yeah, well, Liar. I definitely drank a lot. We come to QT to take a pee break, and and I couldn't get over. I, there was like 10, 15 trucks in the lane. I had to get over. I think I cut this guy off, and then uh, I got pulled over. And then he wanted. He asked me to go to the scale house, which is down the street. Made me think he was gonna weigh me, which I'm okay because this is like point seven tons. Yeah, literally. it's nothing but light, light, light trash. So. He's gonna pull up again next to me. It's like, I'm not DOT. Huh? I'm not DOT. I it's 26,000 pounds. I'm under DOT. So apparently he's doing a waste. Wait. The scale is pulling out the scales away me. He's pulling out these scales to weigh me so first time ever this is a Dallas County Sheriff's officer apparently he must be DOT if he's got scales in his truck you like you get a ticket sir because you're wrong so when I told him I'm definitely under he asked me what I had I told him air filters because this is a 25 yard full of nothing but AC filters and then he said we'll see We'll see about that. It's not a very nice police officer. I mean, they're not paid to be nice. Get the get the weight, the scale. There you go, under the tire. There you go. I would say I'm under 20,000 pounds. I'd be willing to bet I'm under 20,000 pounds. What makes you think I'm doing anything? I'll do. Nah, man. I'll run I got one day. Can I get out? Yeah, yeah. All day, every day, man. Uh, this is a big can. I get it. I mean, we usually have the 15s and 20s, but uh, all I do with the big. All right, so let's talk about what just happened. I'm here at the landfill, uh, about to weigh in. So, I guess if you do this enough, all day, every day, like I've been doing, as much as I've been doing lately. Uh, it's bound to happen. We're going to get it pulled over. We're going to get asked, you know, especially by DOT. Uh, and this guy was definitely a DOT uh, scale operator or scale officer. Because when he pulled us over, he saw, I saw he was behind a FedEx. And then he turned his lights on while we were pulling into the gas station. And uh, I kind of felt like he was coming after me because I, I thought I cut that truck off. Um, and it was a semi truck. But, uh. But he pulls up next to me and he says, follow me to the scale house. And then on second thought, he's like, give me your driver's license and pull over over there, uh, you know, in the fire lane over at the gas station, uh, on the other side of the gas station. So, and we can do this right here, he says. Which led me to believe maybe he's going to weigh me. So, uh, obviously, I'm in an under CDL truck. I'm under 26,000 pounds. I'm not operating with any DOT stickers on the side of my truck. 
uh, and I have this is the biggest can that we carry 25 yard can on the truck so you know I'll give him the benefit of the doubt and you know these guys are good guys they're just doing some work he may have had a little bit of an attitude but they're not paid to be friendly um, and he thought I was gonna be heavy which uh, which more than likely I'm sure a lot of the guys are and that's the problem with our industry is that a lot of the guys out there are operating illegally so I just weighed in uh, I'm, at, I'm at 0.6 tons so I'm at 19,080 gross weight so under DOT under 26,000 pounds uh, with my biggest can which is probably which is definitely one of the heaviest ones uh, I think the can empty weight Oh, empty weight of the truck and can is 17,880. Also, don't get me wrong, this, these Mack trucks, this MD6 or M, MD7s, I have the MD6, uh, but they just, they're, they look big. They're about as big as any other truck out there for the most part. Uh, single axle, not tandem, but uh, you know, they're, they're big. So these guys, they see us rolling without a DOT number and it's probably like, oh, I'm definitely gonna catch this guy because he's got a full can. Full, full dumpster in there uh, and he's he's got a big can so as soon as he weighed me he weighed the front axle and then he weighed the back axle as soon as he weighed me uh, I knew I told him I was gonna be underweight because I knew what I'm I know what I'm carrying um, am I always carrying light weight not always um, does that mean I am regularly over not always at all I'm hardly ever over 26,000 pounds ever um, if I am it's because I didn't know uh, for the most part, but it is what it is. So, uh, what was that, like a 10 minute delay? That's about it? Yeah. Not much, he did it pretty quick. Uh, and with that being said, if I would have gone over, honestly, I don't know if it would have just been a ticket or if he would have just like forced me to park the truck there and not drive it off, I don't know. Uh, but I don't wanna find out. So, what he did say at the end kind of concerned me a little bit you know I was trying to be nice to him so I don't I'm not a target for him but uh, he did say I'll catch you eventually uh, I'll catch you one day and you know that's not cool you know I don't want to be looking over my shoulder all the time so I was trying to be nice to him and just kind of told him hey you know I do this all day every day uh, which I do and uh, see how slippery it is yeah so they put they, they water these roads and when they water the roads it gets really slippery um, it's kind of skinny over here. It's like driving on ice. So, I don't know. That wasn't a cool statement to make. Make it seem like he's uh, out targeting me. And when I asked him, well, why do you say that? He said, because you guys all mess up eventually. And again, that's not a good look for our industry. That's not a good look for us. So, uh, either way, I've got some things coming up soon that's going to change all of that probably. So, we'll see. But, uh... For all you guys that were questioning whether you need a DOT number or a CDL, I mean, that's proof right there that you don't need it as long as you stay under 26,000 pounds. And as long as you stay, as, as far as Texas is concerned, I don't know about other states. I'm not from any other state, but Texas here. Um, stay under 26,000 pounds. You don't need a CDL. Your truck does not need a DOT unless uh, you're crossing state lines or unless your GVWR of your vehicle is over 26,000 pounds. This one is at 25,990 pounds, and it's derated to that number, mind you. And uh, I don't have a CDL yet. So, let's go dump this. That is my load right there, 0.6 tons. So, a little over half a ton, nothing but AC filters and a little bit of trash. He caught me on a good day. We're empty. It is muddy here.
So, here at Walgreens, uh, trying to FedEx some stuff out real quick. Just dropped it off the 25, heading back to the yard, getting a 15, dropping that one off, and then we have, I think, one more pickup. Uh, and then we booked about two more for tomorrow. So, two lanes are now open it is going to be a busy uh, holiday weekend, and we're going to have most, if not all, of our dumpsters out of the yard, which is awesome. Just thinking a little bit more on that police officer and that stop, you know, the other thing that was never told to me in the stop was what the reason that he was stopping me for was. I understand if you were a DOT vehicle, um, you know, they have the right to stop you at any given time, really, and do a DOT inspection or an audit. Uh, whether you're level one, two, I don't know how that works, but uh, whatever level audit or DOT inspection they want to do, they have the right to do so in a DOT vehicle. I am not a DOT vehicle. In the state of Texas, I am under 26,000 pounds, GVWR in my truck. Yeah, and I don't go interstate, so I'm intrastate. So he can't just randomly stop me, in my opinion. Uh, and this is my opinion, so I'm not, a, I'm not a lawyer. But he can't just randomly stop me and do a DOT inspection when I'm not DOT. So where was the violation? What was the violation? Did he pull me over because I cut the guy off and that was his reason? You can't just stop somebody because you think they might be overweight. You can't just stop somebody just because you think that they are violating uh, a DOT rule when they're not even DOT. It's my opinion. I think I have to be in violation of something. Just as if we were driving a vehicle. Uh, he can't just stop. A police officer can't just stop a car just because he thinks the person might be a criminal. The person has to break some sort of traffic law in order to be pulled over. No turn signal run a speed, run a red light, speeding, whatever that may be. So he never mentioned or told me why he pulled me over and said he just pulled out his scales and started weighing me. And I've got it all on camera. So do I have a complaint? Maybe, but is it gonna go anywhere? Absolutely not. It is frustrating, don't get me wrong. Uh, the more I think about it that, you know, I, and then to threaten me, in other words, to tell me he'll catch me another time, that's also kind of uh, garbage, but Again, I, I'm not trying to create any bad blood with anybody. I'm not trying to, um, you know, get anybody in trouble or whatever it may be. I, you know, I'm, I highly doubt that. But, uh, you know, I just don't want to be targeted down the road because somebody thinks that I'm going to be uh, carrying dumpsters that are overweight. Right? Right. So, anyways, let's get back to the yard. Let's finish up this day uh, and get into our holiday weekend. I've got a busy day tomorrow, too. Uh, but... Uh, I'm ready to, uh, to have a couple days off. What about you guys? Are you guys taking off Memorial Day? Are you guys closed? Did you close your uh, your business and, and not delivering dumpsters for Memorial Day? Or are you guys running uh, all weekend long? Let me know.
Okay, so update. And Josh can't do it. Uh, the dumpster won't fit. Or he can't get it because we're in this tight alley. And now it's stuck on some cables and the light post. So we're about to just take it and go probably unless he can get it. So we'll see. Okay, getting back in the truck. We're not gonna take it or we're not gonna leave it. He's talking to the customer because I can't do that. So we're just gonna take it and go. Oh my gosh, it's hot today. I wonder if this will make the day in the life vlog. So we'll see. He'll keep you updated too, so. All right, well, that was all Alexis's fault. Whatever. Told, tells the customer we can deliver it in the driveway in the rear of the house in the alley. Actually, she said we'll we'll do our best, which I did. I spent at least what 15 minutes probably. Yeah. Um, usually with a hook lift, I can do a 90 degree angle, which I did, and even with that, uh, I still wasn't able to place it down. The driveway was way too short. The alley was. Um, I've been in narrower, narrower, narrower alleys before, but I had more of a kind of a slant to kind of kind of go in like the drive was a little bit wider or I had a little more room the way these fences were it was literally literally all the way out to the edge of the alley and I just couldn't drop it off and that's honest to God that's the first dumpster that I have been unable to deliver um, due to size or due to uh, placement and and that city you can't place a dumpster in the street so as you can see I've still got it with me. So now we got to go back to the yard, which is luckily on the way to the next pickup, uh, and drop this back off and pick up that dumpster uh, on the next one. And then we're done for the day. So I'm going to be taking the dumpster full uh, and the truck to my house for the night and then uh, start up early in the morning because Saturday is a busy day too. So we're heading to uh, all the way. It's a little over an hour away almost. It's basically one end of my coverage area uh, all the way to the opposite end but it's closer to my house and we're going to grab some food while we're over there and take home so almost done stay with us stay tuned for next exciting Okay, so I'm taking over. So we're literally just going to pick up food and go home because we're tired and it's already five, five o'clock, which is fine, but we go, we are like on these sketchy roads with this heavy dumpster. It is kind of heavy. We'll find out tomorrow how heavy it is. Yeah. But I can feel it kind of heavy. And then we're about to turn to get on the freeway finally and right in the middle of this tiny road is a truck broke down right there so we can't go anywhere could have been more smack dab in the middle of the street nope so now we're just here waiting because it's like miles to go the other way and ain't nobody got all time all back that. roads country roads so we're about to tip over a couple times so yeah all right 
I'm ready to go home. It's hard eat. not to be nice to the guy because he's pretty damn nice, but he is nice. I'm Poor about guy. to like, I might. I'm, no, you're not gonna fit. I might could squeeze the ball in there and get in between the fence over there and the, and that truck over yonder. You can't fit. That's how country we are. We're we're like this is real country right here. Yeah, there's a cow over there. Like I think. Yeah. I think I saw Bigfoot a little bit ways on that way. About oh my a gosh, like I'm stopping mile. it. It's just one of those days. It's just one of those days. What can you do? You just grin and smile. It's a, that's the beauty of uh, of being on the road eight, nine, ten hours a day, if not more, 12, 14. He just hopped in the truck to see if it'll turn over. I mean, if he had a chain, I'll literally just... Oh. I mean, I got a strap over here. Oh, there he goes. Woohoo! All right, good luck. Oh, he's got a full truck of rocks. So it is heavy. I'm sure his is even heavier. Time to go get food. Time to go get food. We out. All right, so here we are at Bottle Cap. Pretty cool spot in Quartz Canada. It's got some awesome chicken finger, chicken wings. What do you got there, Alexis? Huh? What do you got? Food. All right. All right, so we are done for the day. We're out. We're heading home. We're going to uh, go eat some dinner with the fam. So as always, Alexis, what do we say? Make sure you... Like, subscribe. Smash. Not thumbs down. Thumbs up. Smash that notification bell. And uh, you gotta be a little smiley, smile a little more. Like, subscribe, smash the notification bell, and we'll see you guys in the next one.